Hi Taurus, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Um, if you didn't notice, I did take a hiatus um, for the week. Um, it's a, I decided to skip the week last week because of personal reasons. Um, it was my birthday week for one. Uh, happy birthday to me. <laughs> But also, I just had a lot of pers I've had a lot of personal issues to deal with, so I just, just decided to take a little week off. Um, but yeah, I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> so let's just get into it, okay? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nina. Thank you for being here. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. I love you so much. Um, I'm really excited to share yet another experience with you. So Taurus, let's get into it, okay? This is going to be for the week of July 29th. This is going to apply to Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus or Jupiter if you want to. <laughs> um, sidereal and Tropical, so make sure to check both, all right? You can go to Asher.com if you don't know any of that, all right? <laughs> so Taurus, what is in store for you the upcoming week? What is in store for Taurus the week of July 29th? What is in store for Taurus the week of July 29th? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're treating yourselves. Not just to... Oh, that was too many cards. Not just to material things, but treating yourself spiritually and emotionally. And mentally. Alright. So let's try that again. <laughs> What is in store for Taurus the week of July 29th? Too many cards again. What is in store for Taurus the week of July 29th? I'm using the Santa Muerte tarot deck. I got it for my birthday and I'm honestly so in love with it. So, let's see. What's in store? Oh, got it. Could be dealing with an Aries. Um, we have the two of swords reversed, right? The Emperor. The Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands reversed. Okay, so I feel that for some of you, with the two of swords reversed and the emperor, it might. I feel like some of you could be uh, going through a little bit of a tough time with an Aries. Maybe you you were kind of going through a phase where you're debating whether or not you should cut off an Aries from your life, um, <clears throat> or someone who's like a military person, someone who's involved in the military, um, or who. It could also be a father figure for some of you, so maybe you're debating whether or not you want to cut off a father figure in your life. Or some sort of authority figure. So that could be an issue. Um, yeah, there's sort of like a debate. You may, Maybe you're hesitant as to whether you should do that or not. You're hesitant whether you should just like snip them away. Um, and with the Seven of Wands, I really do feel like this decision might not be the easiest for you because it kind of feels like the world is against you or you're kind of just feeling like everyone isn't really on your side. It feels like no one is really on your side. No one is really kind of supporting you. And it might feel like a little bit of a loss because we do have the, the Five of Swords reversed. So it just feels a little bit like a loss, a little bit, um, hmm. Because normally when the Five of Swords is upright, that to me signifies a petty victory or just a lot of petty drama. And with the Five of Swords reverse, it's like the petty drama, you know, has ended, but now you're not really left with much. It's more so of a loss. And then we have the Nine of Swords. So there's, oh yeah, the Nine of Swords and the Tower. So there's a lot of things going on in your mind. There's could be There could be a lot of anxiety surrounding the situation. There's a lot of anxiety surrounding just this overall phase in your life I think I think that for some of you even though there's it just feels like how do I say this
you're just not used to the changes. And I feel that with all of the changes that are coming about with like, you know, the end of eclipse season, you know, Leo season has already started. There's a lot of stuff going on for you. So you're mentally, you could be really overwhelmed. You could be really um, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to feel, not knowing how to react, not really knowing how to do anything really. And so with the tower, it's like, maybe you're trying to avoid the inevitable moment, right? But like I said, it's inevitable. So there's just a lot going on. And with the Queen of Wands reversed, I feel like, ooh, ooh, there could be a very heavy, like, motherly energy or maternal energy here with the Queen of Wands reversed and the Empress. I feel like maybe, maybe, oh, well, I mean, the Empress is also you, Taurus. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. And I mean, we have the Emperor reversed. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. You know, for some of you, this could be like the the demolition <laughs> of a friendship here or some sort of partnership you know this would be you i think and then this could either be like a fire sign or the roles can be reversed as well where this can you know be another taurus or libra and then this could be you someone who's feeling really insecure or very um um fiery very fiery um very explosive but I feel that it's, this is more so just you, like, yeah, this is you trying to maintain your composure with the Empress card. I feel like this is definitely you trying to maintain your composure and you're trying to make it seem that you're unfazed, whereas this person is just like screaming at you and blaming you for all of these things and accusing you of all of these things, trying to be in control of the situation when in reality, they're very insecure, they're very, um, they feel kind of... They're, I, like, they're playing it off as though they're arrogant and as though they, you know, don't give a crap, but I feel like they really do, and I feel like they are aware that they have messed up, and so with the Two of Swords reverse, it's like there's a debate as to whether you want to permanently cut this person off from your life, because I do feel that there was a battle with this Five of Swords reverse. There was some sort of argument, there was some sort of conflict that took place which was incredibly petty, and I feel that with the Queen of Swords reversed, or with the Queen of Wands reversed, this, the Queen of Wands reversed lost. I feel like, I mean, it could be either way where either one of you lost, but I feel like for a lot of us, the Queen of Wands was the one that took the loss, and now they're regretting it, and maybe they're trying to, you know, go back on their word, maybe they're trying to apologize maybe they're trying to do something but I feel like in all of this you're trying to make it seem like you're unfazed because you have an important decision to make here you have the decision of whether or not you want to cut this person off you have to you have that decision to make yeah, because things are inevitably falling apart, and I feel like you kind of knew this for a while. I feel like some of you had this feeling that this would be that this would happen, that this would happen, and it's now happening. And so now you have the decision as to whether or not you want to actually go through with it, whether you actually want to cut off that sing that final thread in this relationship or partnership or whatever it is that this is. I feel like there's that decision of like, what should I do? <sighs> What is the best way to approach the situation? This could also be, you know, this could also be in relation to like mom and dad because I do have the emperor and the empress. So this is a couple. And then we also have the queen of wands of her. So for some of you, this can signify, oh, I hate to say it. Oh, I hate to say this. <laughs> I hate to say this. I hate being that person. But this could be like a third party situation where... You know, if it's not mom and dad, if it's just you and someone else, if it's just you and your partner with the emperor and the empress, um, there's someone in the middle here. And it could be that the emperor has the decision, has to make up their mind as to whether or not they want to cut off this queen of wands or if they want to cut you off. But I feel like this is more so in relation to the queen of wands reverse because, I mean, they weren't really... Um, doing much i mean the emperor and the empress this is a long-standing relationship this is a long-term relationship this is something committed very long lasting and with the five of swords reversed i really feel like this signifies this couple i i, I feel like this signifies this couple here so there was a battle here, right? There could have been conflict between you and your partner or your, your friend or whoever. There could have been a, you know, there's something that got in between you guys. It could have been a Queen of Wands reversed, a fire sign, perhaps like a Leo or something. 
Whoa, okay. <laughs> All right, so I feel like that's confirmation for some of you because my ears are doing some crazy shit right now. <laughs> but yeah, it could have been, it, it could have been a conflict between like, it was, I feel like this person, I, I don't even feel that it was the emperor who was purposely going out of their way to find this person. I more so feel like it was the queen of wands butting in. I feel like that's what it was. And so they were kind of, I feel like with the queen of wands reversed and with those seven of wands, you know, this woman, or I don't even want to say woman, this person, because it can literally be anyone of any gender. This person was trying to get in the way of your relationship. I feel like this person was very jealous of what you had. And so they were trying to get in the way. They were stirring up the pot. They were stirring up petty drama in this situation. And I feel like it didn't really work out in their favor. And so now things are kind of inevitably falling apart with this tower. And there's a lot of, a lot of anxiety towards this. And there's this, I mean, two of swords, there's kind of someone either trying to remain blind to the situation or someone who's just trying to ignore it. Again, it could be the emperor or an Aries who is trying to ignore the situation. Or it could even be you, Taurus, who is trying to ignore the situation and just hope that it'll go away on its own. But I feel like there's a sense of acknowledgement that has to go down here. Um... For some of you, I feel like this could be where an Aries was, you know, talking to a Queen of Wands reversed, and they could have been doing it behind your back. And so maybe you have this, the you have to make up the decision of whether or not you want to cut off this emperor in your life. But it kind of feels like maybe you're not being supported with this decision, and maybe that's why you're feeling so anxious about this decision and why you're so hesitant to make the decision in the first place. Because with the Seven of Wands, it's like people aren't really supporting you. It feels like people aren't supporting you, they're not, they don't really have your back. So it could be that maybe your family, you know, loves this Aries or loves this emperor figure in your life and they don't, they kind of want you to forgive this person and be like, oh, just give them a second chance, you know, it wasn't a big deal, they didn't, you know. But I feel like you kind of know what you're supposed to do and I feel like it's just a matter of time of what, when, when that happens because I do have the tower. So this is like things that have to fall apart. And I have the Eight of Swords reversed. So this is a matter of liberation. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So there's a like extreme changes going on. Um, Eight of Wands is like very quickly um, a lot of action. But very quick changes. Very kind of abrupt changes even. It could even be like very quick messaging going on. So a lot of uh, communication. But it's all in a very short time span. And then it just like... There's that sense of liberation because we have the Eight of Swords reverse. So there's no longer anyone intervening. And also with the Eight of Swords, with the Eight of Swords when it's upright, it's like someone intervening. And with the with the card reverse, it's like it's, they're they're finally being pushed out of the way. And so that's kind of what I feel is kind of going on. Is like there is things are changing very rapidly for you. Tower and the Eight of Wands. Things are changing very rapidly and you might not really enjoy it because there's a lot of anxiety surrounding the situation, but I feel like it has to happen. So that's what I see. I kind of want to clarify on this Queen of Wands reverse. Like who is this person? I really do feel like this was the person trying to intervene, trying to break up your relationship or partnership or friendship or whatever. Or it could also be that this was a friend, right? So emperor and empress, right? This is a long-standing friendship or relationship or something. This is something very grounded or something very committed. This is a this is like a couple. I, I'm saying couple, but it can be any sort of partnership. This is a couple who kind of they go they they understand each other on such a level because they they just they they've gone through a lot together, if that kind of makes sense. They just understand each other. And even if you haven't known this person for a very long time, there's kind of like this telepathic connection or there's just this there's this tie between you that just makes you a lot closer and so with the queen of wands reverse this just can be someone who was really insecure and maybe they felt really left out because they didn't have this connection they didn't feel entirely included in this friendship it could have been like a group of three right so i feel like they kind of just um this person could have uh how do i say this they could have kind of excluded themselves from the relation, from the friendship in general, and just stirred up the pot with the five of swords reverse. Like you know, when they were walking out the door, they decided to to create kind of a tornado. They decided to create drama. They decided to create something to kind of, in a way, leave it some sort of impact. Like they were, they definitely 
aren't leaving without saying anything. You know, they're 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 making a boom <laughs> when they leave. So that could be the thing. And so there's anxiety as on this whole situation, whether it's with you and this empress or with the queen of wands. There's anxiety surrounding this situation because you don't really know how to approach it, I feel like. Or you might be overthinking. You might be kind of wondering, like, well, what am I going to do? What should I do? What is the best way to approach the situation? What is this person going to do? You know, there's a lot of overthinking about the situation. And I feel like for some of you, you're just kind of waiting for the right moment to just cut everything off. Um, yeah. Like, you're just waiting for everything to fall apart. And I feel like once August kind of comes around, you'll know what to do. And you'll, like, once August comes, comes around, you'll let the tower moment kind of happen. And everything will just be free. And you'll be liberated. And there will just be a lot of rapid change. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pull some affirmations for you. All right, so I'm going to pull some affirmations, and then I'm going to pull for my spirit oracle, my spirit animal oracle, and then we, we will be out of here. Um, if you're interested in these, it's affirmators. <laughs> affirmers? Affirmators. Affirmators. <laughs> affirmators. All right. So let's get into this. Taurus, what a affirmation does Taurus need to hear at this time? What affirmation does Taurus need to hear at this time? All right, we got two. So we have connection. I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open my is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on witty banter about weather-related stuff. <laughs> and then playfulness. I am a playful participant in life, and I always have the option to make something fun, a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. <laughs> that lady really knows how to party. <laughs> So I feel like with this playfulness card in general, it's just like, don't take the situation so seriously. Um, you know, kind of allow yourself to detach from it and just continue to do your own thing. It's really, uh, it's only as deep as you make it to be. So if you're kind of just thinking about it all the time, then yeah, it's going to be something very serious for you. But if you're like, eh, whatever, like it happens, you'll have a different outlook on it. So there is that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from my spirit animal oracle. Oh. Oh, boy. All right, Taurus, what do you need to see here at this time? Alrighty. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What message does Taurus need to hear for the week of July 29th? I know that card wanted to come out. <laughs> what message does Taurus need to hear at this time? Alright. All right, so life is a mystery, Bobcat spirit. So for me, this can be, this is very related to the Nine of Swords. I feel like in the sense that it talks about how you're trying to foresee everything. And while you're trying to foresee everything, um, so for example, if you're using tarot to see the outcome of a situation, but you're doing it so obsessively um, and like kind of doing it every day or at every hour where you're like, I don't know what to do. You know, what's the outcome? And tarot is like giving you the same exact outcome but you're hoping for something different. I feel like tarot, for for those who do practice tarot, um, if you're doing that so obsessively and to the point where you're just getting, you're at this point, like tarot's just giving you random answers, you need to calm down. And you need to just lay back. You need to lay low. You need to do your own thing. You need to... Uh, just remember that you you it's not up to you to know every single detail of how things are supposed to 
play out. It's not up to you to know every single detail and, you know, try to like change a certain outcome if you're not happy with things. Um, sometimes things have to be hidden from you by the universe in order for everything to go the way that it is meant to. Um, so I feel like here we have moth spirit surrender now. So, you know, allow yourself to just detach from the situation. Don't let yourself just overthink and become so so um bogged down with the anxiety and with the overthinking and and you know like don't allow yourself to lose sleep over this okay like if you're losing sleep over this it's gone too far so detach with yourself from the situation just you know let things happen the way that they, they need to happen tower surrender to your tower moment okay it doesn't have to be as dramatic as you might think it is okay it doesn't have to be this dramatic ending, okay? If it's a friendship that's ending, let it end. Like, you don't have to stress yourself over it so much. Like, if it happens, it happens. It That's the way that life is. Um, there's no need to stress yourself out over the situation. And I know, like, that's a lot easier said than done. And yes, it can be stressful. And yes, these people may have meant a lot for you. But... If you're putting yourself in a situation where you're really overthinking, where you're really anxious, you're doing that to yourself. Um, because you can choose how you react to the situation. So, and I'm not saying that, you know, you choose to be anxious, but I'm saying, like, that's definitely not what I'm saying at all. But I'm saying that it's up to you how you want to manage, manage the situation, how you want to go through with it. And obviously, easier said than done. And, you know, we're only human. But I'm telling you now that it's not worth it, you know, just obsessing over the situation and thinking about it all the time and basically causing yourself more stress than you need to. So take that for what it is, Taurus. Um, I wish you the best of luck. If it resonates with you, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thumbs up the video. Subscribe, share with your friends, your family, and your neighbor. <laughs> um... And if this resonates with you and if you want more insight, you are more than welcome to book a personal reading with me on SimplePluto.com. You can also find me on social media at SimplePluto on Twitter and Instagram. All right. So I think that's it. All righty. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Good luck, Taurus. Treat yourself. Um, take a mental break. Take a break from social media. Just chill out for a second, okay? <laughs> I love you. Bye.